Aquarius, that's what we're doing. Your June reading for this current year, 2019. Da -da -da -da. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's going to be a Thunderdome, so it's going to be you and the person you're dealing with. Cross watchers accordingly, of course. This resonates with you a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just a card game. Hope you all are doing well. I'm doing pretty decent. I've eaten nothing but like pancake sausages on a stick and like White Castle and it's been glorious. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Group one, starting with you because we are like numerical orders and it would only make sense. King of Wands right here. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. You're in your energy. But what you want is for some secrets to come out or some illusions to be destroyed with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, right? Then we have the Eight of Wands reverse in your fears and rejections. Like things won't be changing. Things aren't going to be moving. Nothing being swift. No action being taken. Queen of Swords in the situation. Trying to be decisive. This could be you, actually. You might be trying to be the logical one in the situation we got temperance as the challenge and obstacle coming against you two people coming together to make one megazord power ranger thingamabobber or spirit or coming together just as one to communicate and cast as well as the final result the beginning and the end that's reverse nothing's changing Nothing's changing, and nothing's changing. You're afraid nothing's gonna change, nothing's gonna change. Could possibly be dealing with a Scorpio. Then we have the Princess of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be any of them. Could be you. Could be whoever. But um, it's somebody who's on the move to start something new, new adventure, impulses. Fuck, even a ride to the liquor store to get a candy bar. You don't even want liquor. You just want to do something different, something new. Like, ugh, okay. Like, the house is the mess, and it feels like you aren't being given what should be given to you. So now you just want to work on, like, I don't know, maybe even finding your own king of pentacles. Somebody could provide for you. Or maybe you're just trying to study your own, like, financial watching my colors right because it feels like nothing's going to happen in this situation whatsoever at least that's the vibe you're giving me a little bit King of Wands. Once again, Leo. Also, Aries or Sagittarius. Is not happy. <laughs> that who is the authoritative ruler is not happy and does not want to be associated. They, they got a dark cloud. Very much Leo right here. Um, <clears throat> he just might not be happy with who he's with. Could also be Gemini too. He might not just want this partnership then we have the queen of swords down here which is possibly you aquarius also libra or gemini um this person doesn't want to offer their cup or this person is dealing with a cancer pisces or scorpio who is not offering their cup but someone is definitely in the energy of being very logical in this and grounded and just decided you know what i, I don't have to invest any more emotional things I guess into this I don't know what the word I'm looking for is but you know what I'm talking about um moon reverse could be Pisces or Cancer once again coming out of illusions secrets are coming out things are being revealed people who are played as emotional puppets are removing those strings oh king of wands Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, like you once again, possibly you got a minion there and you're just like, you know what, I will fucking send this thing after you if you just don't tell me the truth. And that's probably why that King of Wands isn't too happy. Then we have the Temperance down here. The obstacle and challenge 
It's two people coming together. Despite one knowing the truth, I think. Or was somebody not really withholding the truth as much as they're using their wreath to wrap their mind around it and understand? Like, coming together requires the truth. And that also requires cutting through all of that shit. That is not real. That's all illusions. All of that jazz, right? Fear the Eight of Wands. Lack of change. Lack of movement. Probably with the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This is someone who's really demanding. Somebody who expects a lot. Could be a motherly figure. Could be somebody who's cheating. Because for some reason, like, she represents a cheating spouse. Which is like, this is kind of what it feels like. But I'm not sure. Or is it could just be somebody who doesn't care about how they make others feel. Because all of these people below are really, like, sad. They are only worried about their pentacle. They're just going to be like, yeah, it's okay that you're sad, but look, I'm trying to have a good time. Could you just go do something by yourself? Okay, thanks, bye. You know, it could be one of those things where they just are too involved in their own selves to realize what they're doing to people. I mean, they could not mean to be doing it, but honestly, most people know what they're doing, even when they don't. Ah, uh, death reverse below. Possibly Scorpio. Maybe you feel like things aren't going to change. And things either won't... Res la, 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 la. Things won't resurrect themselves. Or... That... Someone had a bad judgment call about all this when they thought things could possibly change. And they won't. You know? What is the ending theme, please? Like cheese, cheese. You're taking an adventure because you're tired of feeling left out in the cold. You want to go somewhere that's like way more fun than being here in the streets. You want bright colors, not like dreary, like there's probably a, a couple plagues going around at this time, but leeches were in era. You want to go to that spacey exploratory, I'm definitely an alien and this is my kind kind of thing. Right? <laughs> what are the three advice cards? There's a happy home behind all of this chaos, or at least that's what it looked like. Four of Wands right here. Like, everything that's here is, like, behind this. So it's kind of like, mm hmm we only see one half of what goes on in the home. Then we have the Queen of Wands right here. Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Standing pretty, standing tall, ruling by her own ways. Nobody tells her what the fuck to do. You know, she looks good. She's looking towards the future. She is ready to move towards something much more what's the macaulay right and we have two offers oh no not not two offers but we do have two aces and it's like this way the offer might be overwhelming but to take the offer it might just suck the life out of you you know that's what this says with this ace of pentacles reverse right with this ace of swords it's like um the lack of clarity is causing someone to believe that, like, things won't come together for them. So, that was you, group one. We're going to move on to group two. Two seconds. All right, group two, it is up to you. Let's see what you're doing with the six of swords. Looking for a reason to stick around. Uh, 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 um. Okay, we'll do that one. It's fine. Oops. Okay. Wants and wishes. Ace of Wands. You want to start something new. Probably something that's to do with booty. Because that could be like starting a new sexual transcendency. But their fears or rejections are the lover's reverse. A breakup somewhere. Possibly dealing with the Gemini. Right? 
Three of Swords reverse. You're trying to recover from a heartbreaking situation. But what's going against you right now and your obstacles and challenges uh, is the sun reverse. Possibly dealing with the Leo, since that's like their sign or whatever, or their planet. Um, could be really unhappy, not in sync with yourself. And then we have the world as the catalyst as well as the final result. Trying to pull things together. End the cycle in order to start a new one. And here we have the two of cups. Relationships. Loves, but it's like... There's the lovers over here. So I don't know if this is actually a romantic situation or not. How do you feel about your other person? So six of swords. Reverse. Someone's looking for a reason to stay. I don't know if it's a good reason, but they're looking for some sort of reason. Like they're looking all the way through all over this. It's like they're looking for a reason to stay, but they got like the Ace of Wands blocking this breakup with the Lovers reverse, right? They were coming from their heartbreak, but like they're still kind of unhappy about things when in this cycle. <clears throat> Probably with the King of Wands, Leo once again. Or Aries or Sagittarius. I'm looking for a reason to stay with this idiot. He's probably good with kids. He's probably easily likable. He probably gets on your nerves at some points because he looks like he would probably do that with the way like that boat is shaped. Or I don't know why. It just is like it's almost like everybody being attracted to him is like what bothers you. Oh yeah, look. Here are you, his counterpart, Queen of Wands, right here, Group 2. You're trying to recover from the heartbreak and get yourself back to where you need to be. But you, you kind of feel like you might as well just throw your cup over the bridge. Like, this is just like, eh, it's not working out. Now, a Wands and Wish right here is the Ace of Wands. A new beginning, a new start to take action, to get into a new project, maybe get some booty, find you someone attractive to hook up with. <clears throat> but that comes with trying to find the truth of things. You want a new beginning? But it's like you're going to the King of Wands to stab him in the back of the head while all these kids distract him a little bit. It's like you want a new beginning, but like, you want words with him. You're like, you, you just want to talk to him. That's all you want. Yeah, that's all you want to do. You just want to talk to him. Just for 5 to 20 minutes. <laughs> um, an obstacle and challenge coming against you with this unhappiness right here, I feel like, is communication. This is your card, Aquarius, the star reaching out into the ether, trying to do, I don't know what it is you're trying to do, but it makes you unhappy, I think, about what's communicated a little bit, and like, the King of Swords is right up here, and it's like, he definitely wants some communication, just real quick, <laughs> like, I really feel like he wants to go out there with his King of Wands, he's just distracted by children, <clears throat> like, he's obviously more powerful than him, considering he's got the red. But it's not like the fire signs are worried about power anyway in these pictures. It's more like they're worried about being grounded in their actions and anything. That's why their clothings, I think, are made of leaves. That's just a theory. I'd have, I'm probably talking out of my ass, though. Um, you're afraid that this breakup with the lovers is a waste of time. Group two. Like, um, either you're wasting time or the person you're dealing with is wasting time. But it's kind of like, you know... It feels like the breakup with this relationship is nothing but a martyr move. Like, you feel like this person is just acting like a victim when they shouldn't. Which is kind of like, hmm. Like, you're afraid someone's really gonna go and just ham it up. With this relationship breakup or whatever, right? Then we have the world. I think you're starting another cycle while this other one ends. 
Yeah, like you might not, you might be like sneaking around, but not really taking the time to think about how you're sneaking around either. Like you might be like being in the possession of wanting to go around doing naughty things without like, I don't know, taking a gander at the consequences. You know, when will you learn that your actions have consequences? You know. What's this world rover? What is this world? Where did that car? It ran in between the leagues. Okay. With this cycle closing and another one beginning, it's like heartbreak. It's like a really severe heartbreak. It's like pile driver to the heart. That they used your organ as a dartboard. What? I'm just being descriptive. I'll take you to it. Okay. I was about to say, I was just being descriptive. Alright, what's the ending thing right here? Okay. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles reverse. <laughs> it's like the cheating spouse is still engaged in the um, love department. Like, not worried about anybody else. Very demanding. Expects a lot. But it's kind of like, you know, they still have love. They still have feelings. Like, they make it look like it's all about, like, money or whatever it is. Or, like, what can be given to them or whatnot. And that's why they're not happy. But it's like... You make them happy. Yeah, look at this. You make them happy. You make them happy. And they do want to work on things very diligently, I have to say. Um, probably to the point where it's kind of excessive and dumb. Like, I don't know. I almost feel like there could be, like, a little period of, like, wooiness. And probably some decisions will finally be made. So this isn't too bad, group two. And you're, so far, the only ones who have had the Ace of Pentacles from this deck that has been upright. <laughs> Everyone else, it's been reversed. It's like, ah, self-fulfilling prophecies everywhere. Fucking like creeper status. But, that was y'all's reading. Thank you for watching my video. Um, if you want a personal reading, my email, whatchamacallit, is in the description below. I don't charge, but it takes tips and donations. Um, and I'll see you guys next week when I do Shadows of Judgment reading. You guys have a good one.